World War III, North Korea's U.S. policy chief meets with Russia amid soaring tensions. Cho Sun Hu, the Director General of the North American Department of the country's Foreign Ministry, is scheduled to make an appearance in Moscow to hold talks with the Russian Ambassador Oleg Bramistrov. Ms. Cho's visit comes as Russia attempt to defuse tensions on the world stage after Kim Jong-un's henchmen accused President Trump of declaring war on North Korea. The North Korean official met with Alexander Matsukura, Russia's highest representative to Pyongyang, last week where the two discussed the state of the isolated country's peninsula. Now she is set to call on her allies for more talks following months of provocations from the Hermit Kingdom. Both Russia and China have called for calm amid fears Kim and President Trump could drag the world into a conflict on the peninsula. Last week Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov claimed he was confident neither the US or Pyongyang would launch a nuclear strike. Mr Lavrov said, the Americans are not going to attack North Korea. If the situation spirals out of control, in South Korea and North Korea, and Japan, Russia, and China, hundreds of thousands of innocent people will suffer. It comes after Donald Trump sparked fears of an imminent conflict between the US and North Korea in a provocative statement on Twitter. President Trump wrote, just heard Foreign Minister of North Korea speak at UN if he echoes thoughts of little rocket man, they won't be around much longer. The rogue nation's officials went on to claim his tweet was a declaration of war and stated the country now has the right to shoot down US bombers, even if they are not flying over North Korean airspace. North Korea's Foreign Minister, Ri Young Ho said, since the United States declared war on our country, we will have every right to make all self-defensive countermeasures, including the right to shoot down the United States strategic bombers at any time even when they are not yet inside the aerospace border of our country, US officials have denied declaring war on the Kim regime. With Press Secretary Sarah Sanders claiming the accusations made were absurd, 